Three high-profile cases were heard in the High Court in Pretoria on Tuesday. While lawyers were arguing the e-tailing case before one judge, a second was hearing evidence in the trial of Modi Moliman accused of torturing his wife and killing her son. And a third, the testimony of the killers of Pretoria mother, Chanel Henning. In the e-toll review, Sanral's lawyer David Untalter said Gauteng motorists would have to get used to paying because e-tailing couldn't be undone. Rejecting the argument that motorists had thought the roads were being upgraded for the Soccer World Cup, he said people knew about e and about the user pay principle when the project started in 2008, but did nothing until the tariffs were announced in 2011. Meanwhile, a court four floors down was hearing that Johan Kotze blamed his ex-wife Ina Bonnet for everything he was accused of doing to her. Kotze allegedly murdered her son Conrad, kidnapped and assaulted her and made three men rape her. The men are on trial with him. A friend of his, Dirk van der Merwe, testified that when he asked Kotze what he had done, Kotze told him it was all his ex-wife's fault. At the same time next door, convicted murderer Willem Petersa was testifying that he and fellow convict Gerardus du Plessis met former Nigerian Olympic athlete Ambrose Monier and Andres Ghost to arrange Henning's murder. The 26-year-old woman was shot dead while driving her car in Ferry Glen. Monia and Ghost are on trial for the murder. A former police officer, Peter Sid, told the court that Monia became angry when the first attempt to kill Henning failed. After the shooting, he phoned Monia and told him the job was done. All three cases continue on Wednesday. Christy Jacobs for SAPA.